Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makasi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, free sole real estate developers plead not guilty to charges. Public urged to report drivers suspected of drug paddling. And $4.5 million allocated for 2020 Agriculture Census. From the studios of FBC Suva, Deva Lendua. Free sole real estate development today pleaded not guilty to undertaking unauthorized developments in the Malolo Group this year. Project officer Sola Sobaniwalu appeared before the Nandi Magistrates Court facing one count of undertaking unauthorized developments and one count of failure to comply with a prohibition notice under the Environment Management Act 2005. The company is alleged to have failed to comply with a prohibition notice issued by the Waterways and Environment Ministry in June last year. This also includes the carrying out of development activity without an approved environmental impact assessment report. Under the Environment Management Act, if convicted, the company and its directors face fines of up to $750,000 or a ter term of imprisonment of up to 10 years or both. A trial date of December 17th has been set. With the Fiji Taxi Association strongly condemning drivers who are involved in drug paddling, it's now calling on the public support. Association President Raben Singh is urging Fijians to report taxi drivers they suspect are taking part in drug trade. Singh says taxi drivers caught paddling drugs should be arrested and stripped off their license permanently. The call comes after eight taxi drivers from a base in Suva were recently fired for their alleged involvement in the paddling of illicit drugs, namely methamphetamine and marijuana. Passengers you think suspect they are drug carrying you're supposed to go and report nearest police station where you're going to be. You're supposed to do their job honest way, not carrying the drugs or anything in the vehicle. Fiji Australia Business Council is proof of the intimate economic relationship between the two countries, says Prime Minister Warenge Bainimarama. Speaking at the 25th Forum in Brisbane, Australia yesterday, Bainimarama highlighted the strength of this relationship is owed to the commitment of business communities. He says over the years, the Forum has evolved to become a hallmark event for Australian business people who want to invest in Fiji. It's clear now, more than ever, this forum is a dynamic platform for exchanging ideas, engaging in networking, and exploring business opportunities between the two countries. The government has allocated $4.5 million for the 2020 Fiji Agriculture Census. Permanent Secretary Ritesh Das, while launching the census today, said having reliable and updated agricultural data is vital to meeting the government's economic standard. Das adds, since its inception in 1970, the census continues to be one of the platforms that assesses Fiji's development and identifies the needs for international assistance. Considering the high demand of agriculture information and the urgent need to establish a sustainable agriculture system for Fiji, government allocated $4.5 million to the Ministry of Agriculture to fund preparation and conduct the, the 2020 Fiji Agriculture Census. Agriculture Minister Tony Sumate has assured the province of Namosi that government will ensure development reaches all rural communities. Speaking at the Namosi Provincial Council meeting yesterday, Usumate said there are plans in place and certain processes will be followed before any development projects are approved. The villagers raised concerns on unfinished rural electrification projects, but the minister clarified that works is being carried out in phases. The government has allocated about $6.6 .6 million for some urgent development projects in Namosi this year. 
on roads, there's various projects to do with the water and electricity. There are a number of villages in Namosi where EF coil poles are already there, but they hope to be connecting uh, later on this year. We know that some will be connected in November this year. So I think it's been a good meeting. I look forward to the outcomes of the, of the meeting that, uh, that will be happening. Furniture maker and retailer Subrails will soon expand its services to the Northern Division. Managing Director Shiva Gaunda says there is an increase in demand for locally made furniture in the Northern Division and a new retail store will be ideal. Gaunda says 90% of their furniture are locally made. Subrails has 13 branches nationwide. So the other plans we have for the following year coming into 2020, we are looking into um, expanding into Vanua Levu, um, particularly into the Lambasa area. We've had a lot of demand uh, requests from customers uh, to open up a store in Vanua Levu. So um, that's been earmarked for next year. Coming up, Sivo chant to go up at Banquest Stadium. And Sevo Reese excited about World Cup quarterfinal. Stay with us. Hoy tabua ang do talitay na na barong na bula FM na mandua na sir. Bula alang gonoa iluto ka do talitay na bula FM bertini na mandua na sir. Ni bula bina ka nandreking ko sa bula FM nga e na kasi. Nandang ko sa mundo at siyo na bula FM na mandua na sir nusur. Ni bula bina ka nandang ko Jerry ay ang belampasa ang do barong nga e na bula FM. Bula FM, number 2 and Seri. A lot of Fiji Mbati fans are expected to gather at the Banquet Stadium in Australia for the Rugby League World Cup Nines, which starts today. It's mainly because of Parramatta Eels stars Mike Asivo and Wanga Blake who will be playing at their home ground. Speaking at FBC to FBC Sports from Australia, FNRL Interim Chief Executive Don Natambe says Sivo will be the draw card at Banquest Stadium along with other Eels players. As a home ground for Mike Asivo, I know there are a lot of his, his occult here at the Banquest Stadium. That's our home ground for him. And I know uh, fans will be coming out for him to support Micah at, at, uh, at the home ground. And uh, as a member of the Fiji Party online squad. The Wallabies will take on England in the first quarterfinal of the 2019 Rugby World Cup at 7.15 this Saturday, as in tomorrow. The Fiji Sports Commission has allocated $25,000 for the Fiji Volleyball Federation to host the Continental Cup in December. This has been confirmed by the Commission's Chair, Peter Mazey, who says the Commission never completely funds any such events. He adds they had meetings with the Federation's new president regarding the logistics of hosting the tournament. We will be assisting them in that. And if they require additional funding for it or that, well, they can apply. The Continental Cup will be held in December with two men's and two women's teams from Fiji taking part. Cloudy skies and light showers will continue over most parts of the country today. Fine weather is in the forecast for tomorrow. And that is your FBC News Now. Remember to join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. Have a great weekend. Good afternoon. My name is Neha, and I'm from Karavi. And Mirchi FM, it's hot. Hamachale nasori se Mirchi FM bojulum. Hi, I'm Shara Pukash Bhatkata. I'm from Tava, I'm Mirchi FM Stubkinson and Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, my name is Prashant. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, I'm Shane. I love uh, listening to Mirchi FM because it's awesome and it's hot. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Shavi. We, we love, love listening to Mirchi FM in Lambasa. Mirchi FM, it's hot. <laughs>